Hello, I'm Brad Eli. Today's Thursday, July 27th, 2023. Here are your latest Church Milton headlines. The Vatican prosecutor on Wednesday asked for the conviction of 10 people, including a cardinal, and a prison sentence of 3 to 13 years. The cardinal, Angelo Bacciu, is immersed in financial scandals, including a failed $200 million property deal in London's Chelsea district. The prosecutor asked for Bacciu to be convicted and sentenced to seven years and three months in prison, prevented from ever holding office again in the Vatican, and fined roughly $12,000, with millions more being confiscated. Michigan's hard left Democrat Governor Gretchen Whitmer has signed legislation outlawing reparative therapy for LGBT youth under penalty of licensing sanctions. The bill forbids mental health care providers from using reparative therapy, which helps people from with unwanted same-sex attraction. Celebrating the law, Whitmer tweeted, as a mom of a member of the community and proud lifelong ally, I'm grateful that today we're banning the horrific practice of conversion therapy in Michigan. A U.S. district judge ruled in favor of Washington State forcing religious organizations to include child murder in employee insurance packages. Tuesday, Judge Benjamin Settle issued his summary judgment declaring there is no evidence that SB 6219 was enacted to burden or target religion. According to the opposing counsel, by forcing pro-life churches to cover abortions in their health insurance plans, the state of Washington is going against past U.S. Supreme Court rulings that have consistently held that government hostility against people of faith is unconstitutional and has no place in our society. Nicaragua's Marxist regime is delivering yet another blow to the Catholic Church. This week, the dictatorship of President Daniel Ortega has frozen the bank account for the church's retirement fund for the elderly priests. An attorney documenting the persecution of the church in Nicaragua said, this fund has functioned for more than 20 years without any complications. This is one of the most dramatic conditions of the current situation. Singer and musician Shanae O'Connor died Wednesday for reasons yet to be disclosed. The controversial, troubled singer was raised Catholic, but abandoned the faith, was abused as a child and struggled with mental illness. In 1992, she appeared on Saturday Night Live where she tore up a picture of Pope John Paul II saying, fight the real evil. She later stated the stunt was a protest against sexual abuse in the church. But Catholics are urging prayers for O'Connor's soul, like Sister Mary Joseph, who tweeted, May God in His infinite merciful love forgive, heal, comfort, and give her eternal rest in His love and peace. I'm Brad Eli. Those are your church building headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael talks about the U.S. bishops and the need for accountability. God bless you.